Welcome to the new video my dear friends. It's Noob from Minecraft with you. Today I'm going to make a building challenge of Spongebob statue with my friends. And while I will build it, I would like to tell you one interesting story about one cheerful sponge that lives at the bottom of the ocean. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's build. The sun rose over Bikini Bottom, casting a warm glow over the colorful coral structures and sandy seabed. In a pineapple-shaped house, nestled among the aquatic flora, SpongeBob SquarePants greeted the day with his signature enthusiasm. Good morning, Gary, he exclaimed to his pet snail, who replied with a sleepy meow. After a quick breakfast of Krabby Patties, SpongeBob set out for work at the Krusty Krab, the most popular eatery in town. As he walked, he greeted his neighbors with a cheerful, hi, everyone. His infectious optimism brightened the day of everyone he passed, from the grumpy Squidward tentacles to the industrious Sandy Cheeks. Arriving at the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob was greeted by his boss, Mr. Krabs, who handed him his apron with a smile. Another day, another dollar, eh, SpongeBob? Mr. Krabs chuckled, patting him on the back. SpongeBob beamed in response, eager to start his day of flipping Krabby Patties. The restaurant bustled with activity as customers lined up for their favorite underwater delicacy. SpongeBob worked tirelessly, flipping patties with precision and skill. His dedication and love for his job were evident in every perfectly cooked patty that came off the grill. As the day wore on, SpongeBob's friends stopped by the Krusty Krab for a quick bite. Patrick Starr, SpongeBob's best friend, waddled in with a big smile on his face. Hey, SpongeBob. Mind if I join you for lunch, he asked, plopping down on a stool next to the grill. Of course, Patrick. The more, the merrier. SpongeBob replied, flipping patties with practiced ease. Soon, Squidward Tentacles, the grumpy cashier, joined them, rolling his eyes at their antics but secretly enjoying their company. As the sun began to set, SpongeBob finished his shift and bid farewell to his friends. See you tomorrow, everyone, he called out as he skipped home, ready for another day of adventure in Bikini Bottom. The next morning, Bikini Bottom was buzzing with excitement and anticipation. The annual jellyfish jamboree was just around the corner, and everyone was looking forward to the festivities. SpongeBob and Patrick could hardly contain their excitement as they made their way to Jellyfish Fields, the picturesque meadow where the event was held. The fields were alive with the gentle buzzing of jellyfish, their translucent forms dancing in the sunlight. As they arrived, they were greeted by Sandy Cheeks, Bikini Bottom's resident scientist and SpongeBob's close friend. Hey, y'all! Ready for some jellyfish and fun, she exclaimed, her Texas drawl adding to the excitement in the air. The trio spent the day frolicking among the jellyfish, catching them with their nets and releasing them back into the wild. It was a day of pure joy and laughter, with not a care in the world. But as the sun began to set and the jellyfish jamboree came to an end, a strange occurrence cast a shadow over the festivities. The jellyfish, usually docile and friendly creatures, began to act erratically, darting around in a frenzy. SpongeBob and his friends looked on in concern as the jellyfish swarmed unpredictably, their usual graceful movements replaced by chaotic bursts of energy. Something was amiss in jellyfish fields, and they were determined to get to the bottom of it. The mystery of the jellyfish's strange behavior weighed heavily on SpongeBob's mind as he returned home that evening. He knew that something was amiss in Bikini Bottom, and he was determined to uncover the truth. As he pondered the events of the day, SpongeBob heard a knock at his door. It was Patrick, wearing a determined expression on his face. SpongeBob, we need to do something about those jellyfish, he said, his voice tinged with concern. SpongeBob nodded in agreement. You're right, Patrick. We can't let our friends down. But first, we need to figure out what's causing this behavior. Just then, a letter slid under the door. SpongeBob picked it up and read aloud, Greetings, adventurers. You are cordially invited to join the quest for the golden pineapple. Legend has it that this mystical fruit holds the key to restoring balance to the ocean. Are you brave enough to embark on this perilous journey? Excitement bubbled up inside SpongeBob as he read the letter. This was their chance to not only solve the mystery of the jellyfish, but also to embark on an epic adventure. He turned to Patrick and said, What do you say, old friend? Shall we accept this challenge? Patrick's eyes lit up with excitement. I'm in, SpongeBob. Let's go find that golden pineapple. 
And so, SpongeBob and Patrick set out on their quest, unaware of the challenges and dangers that awaited them. Little did they know that this journey would test their friendship and courage in ways they never imagined possible. The next day, SpongeBob and Patrick, filled with determination, set out for jellyfish fields once again. They were determined to find out what was causing the jellyfish to behave so strangely during the jellyfish jamboree. As they arrived at the fields, they noticed that the jellyfish were still buzzing around in a frenzied manner. SpongeBob and Patrick cautiously approached the jellyfish, trying to calm them down with their soothing voices. Suddenly, they heard a loud noise coming from a nearby cave. Hello friends, it is me, Pro from Minecraft. I'm happy to see you again. My friend Noob made very cool SpongeBob statue, but I will try to build it even more interesting. And while I do this, I will continue to tell you a cool story about our friend SpongeBob. Also like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start building. Curious, they ventured closer and peered inside. To their surprise, they saw a group of sea creatures using a strange machine to extract something from the jellyfish. SpongeBob and Patrick realized that this was the cause of the jellyfish's strange behavior. The machine was draining their energy, causing them to act erratically. Determined to put an end to this, they sprang into action. With Patrick's brawn and SpongeBob's quick thinking, they managed to disable the machine and free the jellyfish as the machine sputtered to a stop. The jellyfish calmed down and returned to their usual peaceful state. The creatures responsible for the machine were apprehended and order was restored to jellyfish fields. SpongeBob and Patrick were hailed as heroes, and the jellyfish Yambori continued on with renewed joy and excitement. Back at the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob and Patrick were greeted as heroes by Mr. Krabs and the rest of the staff. Their bravery and quick thinking had saved the day once again. However, their celebration was short-lived as they received news of another mystery-plaguing Bikini Bottom. The secret recipe for the Krabby Patty, the restaurant's signature dish, had gone missing. Mr. Krabs was beside himself with worry. The Krabby Patty was not just any burger, it was his pride and joy. And its secret recipe was closely guarded. Without it, the Krusty Krabs' reputation was at stake. SpongeBob and Patrick immediately sprang into action, determined to solve the mystery and recover the recipe. They combed through every inch of the restaurant, questioning everyone and looking for clues. Their investigation led them to the Chum Bucket, the rival restaurant run by the nefarious Plankton. Suspicion fell on him, as he had been trying to steal the recipe for years. Sure enough, they found Plankton sneaking around the Krusty Krab, trying to get his hands on the recipe with a swift and daring move. They thwarted his plans and recovered the recipe, much to Mr. Krab's relief. The Krusty Krab was saved once again, thanks to SpongeBob and Patrick's quick thinking and bravery, as they enjoyed a well-deserved Krabby Patty. They knew that they were always ready to defend their beloved Bikini Bottom from any threat. Meanwhile, Sandy Cheeks had been working on a groundbreaking scientific experiment in her underwater laboratory. She had invited SpongeBob and Patrick to assist her, knowing that their unique skills and enthusiasm would be valuable assets. The experiment involved creating a new type of underwater propulsion system that would revolutionize travel in Bikini Bottom. Sandy had spent months researching and designing the system and she was finally ready to test it. SpongeBob and Patrick eagerly helped Sandy set up the experiment, marveling at the intricate machinery and scientific instruments as they worked. They discussed the potential applications of the new system, imagining a world where underwater travel was faster and more efficient than ever before. Finally, the moment of truth arrived. Sandy activated the propulsion system, and they watched in awe as it sprang to life propelling a small submarine through the water with incredible speed and precision. The experiment was a resounding success, and Sandy's invention was hailed as a breakthrough in underwater technology. 
SpongeBob and Patrick were proud to have been a part of it, knowing that they had contributed to something truly remarkable. As they celebrated their achievement, they knew that there would be many more adventures and discoveries to come in the underwater world of Bikini Bottom, and they were ready for whatever the future held. As the days passed in Bikini Bottom, Squidward Tentacles, the artistic and often misunderstood neighbor of SpongeBob, found himself yearning for something more in his life. Despite his passion for music and the arts, Squidward often felt unfulfilled, stuck in a repetitive routine of playing his clarinet and working at the Krusty Krab. One day, as he practiced his clarinet in his home, an idea struck him like a bolt of lightning. He would compose and perform a solo symphony, a masterpiece that would showcase his talent to the world and finally earn him the recognition he felt he deserved. Excited by his newfound inspiration, Squidward immediately set to work. He poured his heart and soul into composing the symphony, drawing inspiration from the beauty of the ocean and the vibrant life of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Patrick, ever supportive of their friend, offered to help Squidward prepare for his performance. They became his audience, listening attentively as he played each note with precision and passion. As the day of the performance approached, Squidward grew more and more nervous. He feared that his symphony would not be well received or that he would make a mistake during the performance. But when the day arrived and Squidward stepped onto the stage of the Bikini Bottom Symphony Hall, all his fears melted away. The audience, filled with friends and fellow residents of Bikini Bottom, cheered and applauded as Squidward began to play. His symphony was a triumph a beautiful and moving piece that touched the hearts of everyone in the audience. As he took his final bow, Squidward felt a sense of fulfillment and pride that he had never experienced before. From that day on, Squidward's solo symphony became legendary in Bikini Bottom, a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. And Squidward himself found a newfound sense of purpose and joy in his life, knowing that he had finally achieved his dream. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Life in Bikini Bottom continued its usual rhythm. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, and the rest of the residents went about their daily lives, each day bringing new adventures and challenges. But one day, an unexpected event shook Bikini Bottom to its core. A group of rogue sea creatures, led by the notorious villain Captain Scarfish, launched an attack on the city, threatening to destroy everything in their path. The residents of Bikini Bottom were thrown into a state of panic and chaos as Captain Scarfish and his crew wreaked havoc on the city. Buildings were destroyed, and the once peaceful streets were filled with the sounds of battle. SpongeBob and his friends knew that they had to do something to stop Captain Scarfish and save their home. They rallied together, forming a brave band of heroes determined to stand up to the villain and protect Bikini Bottom. With courage and determination, they fought against Captain Scarfish and his minions, engaging in epic battles that tested their strength and resolve as the battle raged on. They realized that they were outnumbered and outmatched. But just when all hope seemed lost, they devised a daring plan to outsmart Captain Scarfish and his crew. With quick thinking and teamwork, they executed their plan flawlessly, trapping the villain and his minions and putting an end to their reign of terror. As Bikini Bottom slowly returned to normalcy, the residents celebrated their victory, grateful for the bravery and heroism of SpongeBob and his friends. And as they looked to the future, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would always stand together, ready to face them head on. With Captain Scarfish defeated and Bikini Bottom safe once more, life returned to its peaceful rhythm. The residents rebuilt what was damaged and the city flourished once again. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and the others resumed their daily routines. But something had changed within them. They had faced adversity together and emerged stronger than ever. As they went about their lives, they found a renewed sense of purpose and camaraderie. They cherished each moment, knowing that they had each other to rely on in times of need. One day, as they gathered at the Krusty Krab for a celebratory meal, they reflected on their adventures and the bond that held them together. They laughed and shared stories, grateful for the friendships that had stood the test of time. As they looked out at the sunset over Bikini Bottom, they knew that more adventures awaited them in the future, but for now, they were content to enjoy the peace and tranquility of their beloved city. As the stars twinkled in the night sky, casting a magical glow over Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and his friends felt a sense of gratitude and joy fill their hearts. They were a family, bound by friendship and love, and nothing could ever break that bond. 
And so, as the night turned into day, and a new chapter began in their lives, they embraced the future with open arms, ready to face whatever challenges came their way. Together, as the days passed, the residents of Bikini Bottom found themselves in high spirits. The city was abuzz with excitement as preparations began for the annual Festival of Friendship, a celebration of unity and camaraderie among its residents. SpongeBob and his friends eagerly joined in the festivities, eager to spread joy and positivity throughout the city. They worked tirelessly, decorating the streets with colorful banners and setting up stalls for games and activities. As the day of the festival arrived, the city was transformed into a vibrant and lively spectacle. Residents from all corners of Bikini Bottom came together to celebrate their bonds of friendship, sharing laughter and creating cherished memories. SpongeBob and his friends took center stage, hosting various events and activities to entertain the crowd. Patrick organized a jelly fishing competition. Sandy showcased her latest scientific discoveries and Squidward performed a special concert for the occasion. The festival was a resounding success, bringing the community closer together and strengthening their bonds of friendship. As the sun set on Bikini Bottom, the residents gathered around a bonfire, sharing stories and reflecting on the day's events. you again my friends it's me hacker from minecraft my friend pro have made some very interesting spongebob statue build but we should show them how real professionals build it and while i'm building i'll continue to tell you the breathtaking story don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel let's go as they looked around at the smiling faces of their friends and neighbors spongebob and his friends felt a deep sense of pride and happiness they had once again proven that together they could overcome any challenge and create a world filled with love and friendship. As the night drew to a close, SpongeBob and his friends made a promise to each other and to the city they loved. They vowed to continue spreading joy and positivity, inspiring others to embrace the spirit of friendship that made Bikini Bottom such a special place. And as they bid farewell to the festival, they knew that their adventures were far from over. With each new day came new opportunities to make a difference and to create a world where friendship reigned supreme. As life in Bikini Bottom returned to its usual pace after the festival of friendship, a new mystery began to unfold. Rumors spread like wildfire about a lost treasure hidden somewhere in the depths of the ocean, said to be guarded by ancient sea creatures and protected by a series of cunning traps. SpongeBob and his friends couldn't resist the allure of adventure and treasure hunting. They gathered at the Krusty Krab, where they discussed the rumors with Mr. Krabs, who was eager to get his claws on the treasure. Excited by the prospect of uncovering hidden riches, the group set out on their quest. Armed with a map rumored to lead to the treasure's location, they braved the dangers of the ocean, facing treacherous currents and curious sea creatures along the way. Their journey took them to the darkest corners of the sea, where they encountered challenges that tested their courage and friendship. But with SpongeBob's optimism, Patrick's strength, Sandy's intelligence, and Squidward's creativity, they overcame each obstacle that stood in their way. Finally, after days of searching, they arrived at the location marked on the map. As they approached a mysterious cave, they could feel the anticipation building in the air. With cautious steps, they ventured into the cave, their eyes scanning the darkness for any signs of the treasure. Suddenly, they stumbled upon a chamber filled with glittering jewels and precious artifacts. The treasure was real, and it was more magnificent than they could have ever imagined. 
but their triumph was short-lived as they realized that they were not alone. Captain Scarfish and his crew had followed them, intent on claiming the treasure for themselves. A fierce battle ensued, with SpongeBob and his friends fighting valiantly to protect their discovery. With clever tactics and teamwork, they managed to outsmart Captain Scarfish and his crew, sending them fleeing into the depths of the ocean. As they emerged from the cave, victorious and laden with treasure, SpongeBob and his friends knew that they had faced their greatest adventure yet. And as they sailed back to Bikini Bottom, they looked forward to sharing their story with their friends and to many more adventures in the future. Back in Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and his friends were hailed as heroes once again. The tale of their daring adventure spread throughout the city, inspiring awe and admiration among its residents. As they basked in the glory of their triumph, SpongeBob and his friends realized that their bond had grown even stronger. They had faced danger and uncertainty together, emerging victorious through their unwavering friendship and teamwork. But amidst the celebrations, a sense of nostalgia crept over them. They couldn't help but reminisce about the countless adventures. They had shared over the years the Jellyfish Jamboree, the Krabby Patty Mystery, Sandy's Scientific Discoveries, Squidward's Symphony, and now, the Treasure Hunt. As they sat together at the Krusty Krab, surrounded by friends and laughter, they knew that they were at a crossroads. Their lives had been filled with excitement and adventure, but they also longed for stability and a sense of purpose. It was then that SpongeBob had an idea. Why don't we start a new chapter in our lives? He suggested, his eyes sparkling with excitement. We could embark on a new adventure, one where we use our skills and talents to help others and make a difference in the world. His friends looked at him with curiosity and interest. They had always been open to new experiences. And the idea of embarking on a new journey together appealed to them. And so, with a renewed sense of purpose and determination, SpongeBob and his friends set out to explore new horizons. They were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that as long as they had each other, they could overcome anything. As they ventured into the unknown, they knew that their friendship was a treasure far greater than any they had ever discovered. And with that knowledge in their hearts, they looked forward to the adventures that awaited them, eager to make their mark on the world and create a legacy of friendship that would endure for generations to come. With their minds set on new adventures, SpongeBob and his friends decided to embark on a journey beyond the familiar waters of Bikini Bottom. They packed their bags with essentials and bid farewell to their beloved city, ready to explore the vast ocean and beyond. Their first destination was a mysterious island rumored to hold ancient secrets and hidden treasures. As they sailed across the open sea, they encountered breathtaking sights the shimmering surface of the water reflecting the sunlight, schools of colorful fish darting through the waves, and distant islands looming on the horizon. As they approached the island, they were greeted by lush greenery and towering cliffs. It was a place of wonder and mystery, and they couldn't wait to begin their exploration. Setting foot on the island, they ventured into its heart. Guided by a sense of curiosity and adventure, Well, well, what cool buildings my friends have made. I like them very much. And you? I hope so too. So, I should also show them how to make a SpongeBob statue building. Well, at the same time, I will continue the story. They encountered exotic flora and fauna, some of which they had never seen before. They marveled at the beauty of the island, taking in its sights and sounds with awe. But as they delved deeper into the island's interior, they stumbled upon an ancient temple, its entrance guarded by intricate carvings and symbols. It was a place of great significance, and they felt a sense of reverence as they approached it. Inside the temple, they discovered a series of chambers filled with artifacts and relics from a bygone era. Each chamber held clues to the island's past, hinting at a rich history waiting to be uncovered. As they explored further, they came across a chamber that seemed to be the heart of the temple. 
It was here that they found a map a map that promised to lead them to even greater adventures and discoveries.